You also say that uh, uh, there is a provision within the Waqf uh, law which uh, mandates a survey, right? These are the yes, two yes. points that you have made. And other about, the, other about constitutionality, I am saying, which will okay. be decided by the Sure. Yeah. Sharad Pradhan. Sharad yeah. Pradhan, you see, uh, legality, constitutionality, uh, practicality, and all the T's, I just want <laughs> to know from you uh, the intention, the political intent. And the point is that often becomes a subject matter of political discourse. The, That's right. The, the law... And the intent behind implementing a law. So that's do you right. think that's that's what is in question here? That's absolutely. You raised a very pertinent point because it is not the it is there, there's no uh, dis, uh, dispute on the fact that the act uh, the 1995 act very clearly lays down uh, that the, a survey should be carried out every 10 years. But governments have not cared to do that for well for reasons you know. Uh, s simple as that for under pressure or influence or with the purpose of appeasing someone there is no can be no denying on that but the fact that this has been taken up now and uh, clearly uh, draws attention to the fact if, knowing the past history knowing the parallel things that this government has been doing against muslims against the interest of muslims uh, naturally arouses suspicion that there, the intent behind this is certainly not the uh, the upliftment or welfare of the Muslims. It is done with the intent of, you know, deepening the communal divide that one has seen over the past couple of years, ever since the BJP has come to power. Mm. And and considering that, you know, it is bound to arouse suspicion that they what is their intent behind it. So, you know, there, is, there can be no, there's a fact, the fact is that there are 1,95,000 work properties in UP. And work, and to say, you know, the BJP and their uh, channels have been highlighting the fact that the work properties in India are next to only the defense and uh, railways. And they have 8 lakh uh, acres of land. Yes, this argument uh, has been made. Yeah, this argument has been made. But the point is, there is a historical reason behind it. Muslims ruled this country for hundreds of years and because of this provision, it may not be in, in the Quran, uh, fair enough, but it has been there as a regular practice because of Hadith. Hadith is as much revered and hailed by Muslims as, uh, uh, as anything else. It is, it is, can be, uh, there can be parallels drawn to various uh, scriptures in, in other religions. So it has been in practice and because there were the Muslim rulers were there, so they, so many times, different rulers, they, uh, they would, you know, the properties they own. You, there are two no, kinds of. No, you know, see, the, the, the reason why the I family. ask this, the reason why ah. we are having this debate is uh, neutrality in the exercise. Uh, Certainly not. In, in no isolation, neutrality. in isolation, yeah, is, you read the law. Yes, there is a provision of the survey. Subsequent governments did not get it done, and now it is being done. So in that yeah. context, it's fine. But yeah. is there? Are there boards? and trusts uh, who encroach upon land uh, in the name of uh, a temple or, you know, who, another it's institution a, of it's faith. A, it's, uh, Sanket, it's, an, it's an open secret. There, there are... And there the shining are, example the in front of, of us is Ayodhya. Is Ayodhya. Where Ayodhya. the sitting MLA and sitting mayor, mayor are being been, probed been, by this very been, government. They are negative, but nothing is being done. That is only more, more for public consumption because nothing yeah. has been done against them.